This poem, which appears in the International Anthology for Rhino in a Shrinking World, is mine. And it was inspired by a visit to Amakala Game Reserve. And I was fortunate to be able to join a crash of Rhino out there on a private game drive. I sat with them for 20, 30 minutes and felt a real sense of connection, a quiet sense of connection with these animals. I felt as though I had joined with the earth, with my ancestors. I wrote the poem, but I didn't know what to call it until somebody told me that the also word for an ancestor or the oldest of the old is Eona Indala. And that's what the poem is called, Eona Indala. Eona Indala. We intrude, of course, as we always do, but we're accepted here, invisible, sitting downwind in the Land Rover and sharing the sun's drum crush with five great grey boulders whose heads are sculpted in rock like presidents. It is hot, growing hotter, this time slip into African prehistory, a long migration from the angry snarl of freeways. When at last they turn to the shade of thicket through knives of acacia thorn, they make no sound, none at all, these giants of the moon. Their silence is the phantom of a used-to-be ancient presence, their honoring of souls. 